The story this evening of the challenges stakeholders in the coffee industry face amid the climbing fuel prices. But as you'll hear in this report, that issue has only added to some long-standing problems coffee farmers have been dealing with. Coffee ice cream, coffee cake, cold and hot coffee, everything coffee was on display at the coffee festival at Devon House on the weekend. It was the first time the coffee festival was held in years due to the pandemic. But according to one farmer, Uton Rodney, the celebration is a reminder of the two worlds that exist in the coffee business. He feels the stakeholders enjoying the festivities do not suffer as harshly as Blue Mountain coffee farmers. The, the chemical that we use, it's all going up. Everything going up. The labor costs going up. Everything going up. But just the, the price of the coffee just barely trickling out. And I think they're organized against the farmers. All of this and all of these people... They organize, they, 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 they have like an umbrella. So if one decides to pay more, they call a meeting and they, they stop it. The coffee farmer also complained about the poor roads that farmers have to traverse daily. The coffee is the second largest beverage, drinking beverage in, in the world. We need the road to fix so that farmers can, can take out their produce. We have to use our donkeys. The farmers proposed a partnership to fix some of the transportation issues. The Minister of Agriculture should help the farmers to bring in duty-free vehicles. They should bring in the vehicle. Most of these vehicles, they, they, they come from Japan, and we sell our co coffee there so we can trade. I think it's very easy. A lot of farmers going up in the hill, they run out of brick, they, they, the vehicle turn over and all of this. They can't buy a new vehicle. We put some of the farmers' complaints to one coffee factory operator. He said his offer to farmers is always the best as he is also a farmer. My company have an have a, um, a incentive package where if you sell my company 50 bucks and at $8,500 you get a 2% um, incentive on every box at the end price. If you sell me a hundred bucks, you get a 5% incentive on the end price. The coffee factory owner explained that the bonus is available for coffee farmers despite climbing production costs at his plant, including energy bills, which have jumped by over 60% in recent months. Despite the challenges, he promises he won't cut jobs. Cody Ann Barrett, TVJ News.